In this session, we'll be discussing about the first protista member, which is photosynthetic protista member. It can make the food itself. Now, the name is dinoflagellates. As the name suggests, dinoflagellates means there are two flagella. So, there will be two flagella in dinoflagellates, and that is what the name is. Dinoflagellates, they are basically belonging to the division pyrophyta. I've already told you what is pyrophyta. So, phyta are plants because they have a photosynthetic mode of nutrition. So, they behave like plants. So, the phyta is for plant, basically for algae. And pyro means fire. So, they are fire algae by fire because they have the property of bioluminescence they glow at night now they belong to the class called dinophyse division is pyrophyta the class is dinophyse they are also called golden brown photosynthetic protista members they can be of red color they can be of yellow color they can be green they can be brown or they can be blue or they can be of any of the color but basically depending upon the pigment they have now, based upon all these color, the red dinoflagellates, they multiply very fast. One among the red dinoflagellates I have named here is goniolex. So, goniolex, they multiply very fast. And the time they multiply very fast, they are basically the cause of red tides. The red tides in the sea are basically because of the dinoflagellates. That too, red dinoflagellates. And they can ask you the name of the red dinoflagellates, that is goniolex. Now, always remember, I'm talking about red tide. I've already talked about Red Sea. So, Red Sea is because of a cyanobacteria, which was Trichodesmia merythrium. And red tides are because of a dinoflagellate member, which is Coniolex. So, always remember that red tide is because of Protista, and Red Sea is because of cyanobacteria or blue-green algae. In next session, we'll be detailing you about dinoflagellate's characters.